I don't think people are audible over there. <laughs> I am audible. I don't think they there. can hear you, Chaitanya, because you are saying something and they are not moving their heads, right? Yes, that means yes. They can't hear you right now. Nandita, we can hear you, Chaitanya. Just go on. Okay, Let's okay, start the meeting. Okay, so hope everyone is uh, doing great. So welcome all to the one fortieth meeting of the Gabby's Toastmaster Club. I am Chaitanya Prasad, as you all know, and I'll be your sergeant at arms for today. So let me set some ground rules for the meeting today. This meeting is blocked for two hours, and you are expected. The members who are online are expected to be on camera for two hours, and you can mute yourself. Unmute only when you are called upon. Regarding the topics of sex, religion, and politics, even though Toastmaster International does not put any restrictions on speaking on these topics at the Gabby's Toastmaster Club, however, we request all the speakers and role takers to be mindful and responsible and abstain from expressing any controversial views on these sensitive topics. Also, we urge you to be cognizant of the fact that we, as a club, practice diversity and inclusion in letter and in spirit. Hence, ensure there are no sexist, racist, or any such undertones. Which create hostility and discomfort for members or guests. I will now call upon the presiding officer of the meeting, distinguished Toastmaster Saurav Datta. Before that, let me introduce distinguished Toastmaster Saurav Datta. He is the charter member and club sponsor of the Gabby's Toastmaster Club, and also one of the club sponsor for the Gabby's Online Toastmaster Club. He has been director and in other senior leadership roles at Target, J.C. Penney, and Hewlett Packard. currently the founder and director of an edutech startup and also vp of marketing and business development at an analytics startup he is winner of multiple awards such as distinguished toastmaster fastest dtm of district 92 and winner of several toastmaster awards like outstanding toastmaster and grand slam toastmaster mentor over to you distinguished toastmaster saurav thank you so much and uh, i hope i'm audible and visible okay great so we are going to get started with this new year with uh, a new excom and a lot of new promises but before that let me quickly make one of the nagesh sir can i make you the co-host you'll have to manage the or uh, chaitanya i'm making you the co-host you please manage the entry exit Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone online. Can you please unmute yourself? Good morning. 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 Let me first get the meeting started. The meeting number one hundred and forty on first of July, twenty twenty-three. Today is a very special meeting, a special meeting for various reasons. The first and foremost is that we have got uh, a lot coming up in this year, and we have achieved a lot last year. So let us start with. Taking a stock in terms of how did the last year go for us? Today in this room, I have one, two, three, four, five district officers and past district officers sitting. This is a club which was formed just three years back, not even three years back. I think two and a half years back. And I remember when this club was formed, we didn't even know that what these district officer roles mean. what is an area director what is a division director what is a district director we had no idea so one of the best things that i think personally that we have done at the gabbies is that we have built leaders so toastmasters is where leaders are made gabbies is a very good representation that this is a place where leaders are made so thank you everyone for stepping up and playing those leadership roles during the course of the year as i stand here today i am not only talking in the capacity of a gabby's officer but also as a past division director this club has been phenomenal in terms of its support that it has extended to the entire division and to the district there are at least four to five clubs which we have been able to uplift 
which we have been able to make distinguished because of the support that we receive from this club. To start with, IBM Synergy Toastmasters Club, area B1, District 92. The support that we got from Priyanka as the area director, the support that we got from Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy as, uh, the, as the area director, the support that we got from the entire Gabby's team for IBM Synergy is one phenomenal example of how we helped one club achieve distinguished. Area B2, speakers then. Toastmaster Dhwani Adesara brought in that 20th member to the club, which made the club a distinguished club. Not only that, she also contributed one of the nine DCP points that the club has got to become a president's distinguished club. Thank you, Dhan. Area B3, Phillips Bangalore Toastmasters Club. One of the fairy tale stories that we have in Division B and District 92 today. This club was chartered about a year back. And within a few months, this club started sliding down. Before we know, we felt that we are losing this club. And the numbers proved us right because we had from 20 members, we went down to 12 members, then to 10 members. In fact, the 10 member renewal that happened in the month of September was in itself a big surprise. Sorry, in the month of March was in itself a big surprise. So it got chartered in the month of June. It slipped to 20 in the month of September. Uh, it slipped to 12 in the month of September and then to 10 in the month of March this year. In fact, that 10 was also a big surprise for us and we never expected that 10 to happen. We kind of coaxed, casual and did everything for those 10 to happen. This club was as good as gone. We knew that in the next annual cycle, this club will not even have five members. And then a miracle happened, things happened, we did the right things at the right time, at the right place. And then this club became a distinguished club. That this club survived for so long, it's only because of the support that we got from the area director, Toastmaster Prashant, and also from DTM Nancy as the club mentor, the way she held the club together. Every single time the club took an initiative, DTM Nancy was there to support, to promote them. She has been a mentor for so many people in the Phillips. I'm sure that even if Phillips has moved out to uh, another division now, it will still continue to reach back to us, reach out to us for the support. And I would request our club members to continue to support them. Kongsberg Digital Squadrons Toastmasters Club. Again, a club that got chartered just a few months back. Within a few months, the club again started slipping. And again, to our rescue came the entire Gabby's team supported us with role takers, supported us with education speakers, and Kongsberg, Kongsberg was back in the game with 12 renewals. Area B4, District 92, Toastmasters Indra Nagar Pride. This club became a distinguished club thanks to the contributions by Toastmaster Karthik Venugopal. This club had three DCP points and we needed two more DCP points. Toastmaster Karthik Venugopal joined the club as a dual member, contributed one of the two DCP points that we needed, and then went on to um, the club went on to become a distinguished club. And finally, the Gabbies, the club which grew. If you look at the journey, we started off with 23 members. Last year, uh, the first year, the base was in 2021 July. Our base was 33. In 20, uh, 22 July, our base was 36. And when we were entering this year, our base would have been 55, 54. And we decided it's the right time for us not to become an elephant and for us to multiply and double up our strength. And hence, we formed a new club. There is nothing more phenomenal than growing strong enough for you to create another version of yourself, another club that's equally successful and hence the birth of the Gabby's Online Toastmasters Club in June 2023. This is a success story that I think very few districts and very few divisions across Toastmasters International can think about that one club can help 
the others rise to such an extent that the entire this division becomes so much successful. If we bought a president's distinguished division last year, it is you. It is all because of you, all the members of the Gabbies. And on behalf of Division 3, District 92, I really can't thank you enough for all that you have done through the year. Continue to be this awesome. We not only did this for other people, we also did it for ourselves. So what happened during the course of this year? We had three distinguished Toastmaster Awards this year. The first one by yours truly, the second one by distinguished Toastmaster Nancy Goel, and the third one by distinguished Toastmaster Bala Venkat. The first, the first DTM award of this last year came from the Gabby's Toastmasters Club. The first Distinguished Toastmaster Award for this year will also come from the Gabby's Toastmasters. This is something which is becoming more of a you know, way of life in the Gabby's of rising. So we thought that it's time for us to appreciate the, the people who are taking this extra effort to become a Distinguished Toastmaster. For people who are not aware, for becoming a distinguished Toastmaster, you need to not only complete two paths, you need to serve in officer roles and club support roles. You have to do a project which goes way beyond Toastmasters at times, or definitely beyond your own role and your own learning. And so to recognize all the distinguished Toastmasters, now and in the future, the Gabby's Executive Committee has decided that we will be recognizing all the distinguished Toastmasters in the past and in the future with with, with one extra challenge and an extra path. <laughs> so essentially, the Gabby's Executive Committee has decided that every distinguished Toastmaster will be rewarded with an extra path, which will be sponsored by the Gabby's Toastmasters. The club will pay for the path, the new path that the new DTM will be taking up or the DTM is taken up. So at least one path for uh, one path for every distinguished Toastmaster Award. We also have produced champions this year. Every year since inception, we have had a representation at the district championship, at the district conference. The first year, Toastmaster Aparna Raja represented us for the table topic contest. The second year, Toastmaster Aparna Raja represented us for the international speech contest and she came second in the entire district. And this year, Toastmaster Aparna Raja represented us in, the, in all the three categories in the district contest and she won the best table topic championship, the table topic championship for District 92. To recognize that, again, we are going to give Toastmaster Aparna Raja the same appreciation and the same reward, an extra path for you. One of the reasons that we have had so many members getting added to the Gabby's Toastmasters Club, and the reason that you could see that the Division B could do such a gala, you know, a division contest in Bangalore International Center, one of the best venues that Bangalore has, is because we were financially pretty independent. We not only we were not totally dependent on the division on the district budget that we got. That was possible because we launched a speech craft program. The speech craft program that we did was very unique in terms of the arrangements that we had. We empowered the clubs, and in return, the clubs decided to support us. They supported us financially while we supported them in law in, in doing the speech craft. In, in running the speech club. Initially, there were three clubs which became a part of this, but then later on, one club did not have the required resources to continue. So we had two clubs which supported the speech craft program. One of that was the Gabby's. The Gabby's had 20 speech crafters, out of which five of them have joined five or six. It's six of them now. Six of them have become Toastmasters. Many of them are sitting on the call today. Toastmaster Samita Kar, Toastmaster Chitrakshi Vej. Um, and that's all that I see here on the call today. But there are four more. Uh, Megha, Madiha, uh, Shilpa, Shaipali, Minakshi. 
So uh, there are there are quite a few who became. But this entire program was possible because of the relentless effort of one person who has been coordinating with the coordinators, mentoring the mentors, and helping the speech crafters deliver compelling speeches week after week. In recognition of the same, this is on behalf of Division B District 92 for the program year 2022-23. As the past division director, I am pleased to um, announce that we are celebrating this and we are recognizing our contribution DTM Nancy. And with that, we are, we have a printer. And with that, we are handing over, uh, we will be handing over, I mean, it's an electronic voucher, so you can use it electronically. We will be, uh, this time we don't have a path for you. <laughs> so what we have for you is a 5,000 rupees gift voucher from Amazon, which will be in your inbox very shortly for all the efforts. So that's it in terms of all the rewards and recognitions that we wanted to celebrate. The club as a whole did a great job, but this is not the end. We have more rewards and recognitions coming up. And for that, I will be inviting our division director for the program year 2023-24, Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurti, soon to be distinguished Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurti. Thank you so much, DTM Soro. I have two reasons to be pleasured of. One is starting a new year in Toastmasters is always something that we look forward to because we have done so much in the year that we can't forget that. But still, we have a journey to uh, tread. That's what we are talking. He was talking about path, 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 no one path, two path, path. So we have a lot of paths to tread in those masters. So we can't forget that while we uh, have achieved so much in the last year, we can't rest our oars. We have to still move forward. So that's one reason to celebrate. Second reason to celebrate is, well, standing here at the Gabby's in front of the camera and so many audiences, there are some announcements I even I have to make. And those are the awards that uh, we have won over the year, last year, 2022-23. So I would like somebody whom I call forward to come and take those awards from me. Uh, it's been a pleasure to call those people. So first comes... Is one of our missing Toastmaster DTM Nancy Goyal. Recognition for your service to District 92 Thank on behalf you. of District 92. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. This is for the leadership. Leadership. We'll, we'll, we'll come for your leadership. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling shy. Mira Gal. TTM Soro Dada. Soro has recognition as division uh, district director. Division director. Division director. <laughs> I wanted you to correct me <laughs> for the last year. Oh, he's blushing, right? Now, You should not say like that. Sorrow that the right on your right, on your left. Yeah. Now, I call upon. Any district officer from the, the Gabby's to take this promote award for the last year. PR, PR award. VBPR. Current VBPR of the Gabby's. Right. So this award, this award we have been wanting since the very beginning. We will have 14 years and then three years we will be 
Next, again, DTM Nancy Goel for her contribution as EDICOM coordinator for the second. Nancy, on your right. There's no one on your right. I was prompting her to take it. Thank you. And the last one, not there's some more. We're done. The Magnus Award for the Gabbies Yay. for the last year. VP Education. Okay. Thank you so much. Actually, District 92 has got a lot of budget. They had last time. They have this time also. So we as Gabby's should win as many as awards as possible in the coming years and make them spend all that money, send it here next year. Okay. So let's give another round of applause for our business. Now with that, I hand it over back to the presiding officer over to you. So, one honest admission that this is by far the least number of awards that the Gabby's has won any year since its inception. Because, yeah. They're yet to announce the rest of the awards. Okay, they're yet to ever announce the rest of the awards. So, still coming up, Spearhead and Master Mentor. Those are the awards. So, this is what I was coming to. Uh, that at the Gabby's, we have a strategy is that we don't go for every award. So, for example, you will probably not see us going for awards like, uh, you know, there are awards which are for renewals in between the period. Apart from the global membership awards, we don't target that. We, we very consciously decide not to go for those awards because that kind of cannibalizes the global membership programs. So there are, so in Gabby's, we have a very strategic approach towards awards. We don't go for all the awards. We only go for the awards. For example, we never go for the renewal pioneer award, the renewal rock star we get, but the other one, I think renewal champion or something, but there's hundred percent renewals. We don't go for that because we feel it is important for us to have a club of active members. So there are members who we discuss and request them not to renew if they have not been active in the last year. This is something that only we can do because we have built a club that's strong enough to ensure that we grow from strength to strength. So we don't target 100% renewals because if this journey is not mutually rewarding, it's probably more logical and rational that we sit back, take a stock whether we really want to continue with this partnership or do you want to renew somewhere else? Or do you want to take a break from Toastmasters? So those discussions with the Gabby, it's common for us to refuse renewals because if we feel that the contribution of the member is not adequate enough or the member is not getting enough from the club. So from that definition, if we see, I think we are good enough. But yes, as uh, there are a couple of awards that we missed this year, like at one particularly I regret is the Golden Gavel Elite. We met all the criteria of Golden Gavel. Each one of them, except one, we did not send the required number of judges for the judges training program. We sent only one judge for the judges training program. If that's either not ironical enough, here's the bigger irony. The, judge, the number of judges, the number of members or the number of judges we have had in District 92 from the Gabbies, any guess what's the count of that in the last year? Um, okay. 57 judges, 57 judges from the Gabby's Toastmasters Club alone for club area division contests. That's what I know uh, based on the list that is there. Probably there could be district contests as well. Now, and this is only for District 92. I'm not even counting the number of judges that we have had in contests outside of District 92, which would probably be much larger than this number because we support all the districts. The reason we have such a large fraternity is because of that. 57 judges we have sent, but only one judge got trained during the year. This is a tactical miss on our part, which is something that we will have to be very careful from next year, because otherwise a golden gavel elite, the harder conditions uh, were all met, like three global membership awards, uh, the club getting 10 DCP points, 
all the club sponsorship awards, everything was met. Only the judges trading program is a miss. So next year, let's be careful about this. We don't want to have these kind of tactical misses. So that's the only thing. Yeah, that's the only thing that I can I can think of in terms of what could have been better for us this year. And before I hand over now to the uh, to the area director for the installation ceremony, let me also welcome our newest member to the team, Toastmaster Sanjay Jain, who's joining us in the program. Toastmaster Sanjay is not a new, uh, it's not new to the Gabby's. If you would have been a regular at the Gabby's, you would know that he has been a regular at the Gabby's too, <laughs> right? So he has been a guest with us for God knows when. And then finally, one day he decided, that's it. I belong here. I need to be here. And that's why he is here. Thank you, Toastmaster Sanjay. We also have a very special person. We became friends recently, the Gabby's and her. And ever since we became friends, she has never missed a single session of the Gabby's. Not the Tuesday ones, not the Saturday ones. We have celebrated her birthday with her. And she is already smiling because she knows that I'm talking about her. Thank you, Toastmaster Dina McEnroy. You are a true inspiration for us. And thank you for joining us. If you are, you are our family. You are, you, I would not even say you're an extended family. You are our family. So we love you. We want you to be back in our meetings every week. Thank you, Dina. <laughs> Thank you. So with this, let me now invite the area director of area B1, district 92. If you did not know already, we take pride in the fact that the Gabby's Toastmasters Club is the home club of both the area director and the division director of its area and its division, which is a matter of huge pride Last year, we was the home club of the division director. This year, additionally, we are the home club of the area director as well. So our homegrown area director, Toastmaster Paduka Kannan, area director, area B1, district candidates, will now conduct the installation for the Gabby's new executive committee for the term July to December 2020. Rise and shine, Gabby's. <laughs> it's good to be back after the 2125th milestone meeting over here again. All right, so without any further ado, let me start with the procedure. So before I commence the installation ceremony, may I request the cl current club officers to be on the video and to those in the hall, please raise. The, the current, the, the, the current, okay. So let me start from the SA Toastmaster Utkarsha and Toastmaster Dolly, Toastmaster Dwani, Toastmaster Syed, DTM Saurabh Datta, DTM Nancy Goyal, and President Toastmaster Rina. All right. All right. So, dear officers, you have done a fantastic job. I think the last 30 minutes, whatever, the past eight division director and the current division director was iterating right now. So you have fulfilled your role of from July, I'm sorry, from the Jan 2023 to the July, uh, June 2023. And the club, you have helped the club members, not only just this club, but the clubs outside as well. And achieve the president distinguished distinguished club status, plus three DTMs, plus numerous club awards, plus plus education awards. Wow! Isn't it wow? A huge round of applause, guys! So, on behalf of the Gabby's Toastmaster Club at District Ninety Two and the Toastmaster International, I would like to say a big, big thank you and for all your effort and a successful work for this team. I hereby discharge you from all the further duties and responsibilities for your further, for the respective offices. Toastmaster and, of course, and the guests, another round of applause, please. <laughs> now, I request the, yeah, please be seated. <laughs> now I request the elected officers to join me on stage. Who are on the video, please turn on the video. 
uh, and if if possible, also pin them if it is possible. Please, please join me on stage. The elected officers. So, right. So I hereby install the officers of the Gabby Toastmaster Club and to prepare them for the challenge that lies ahead in the term July to December 2023. So the following are the officers who have been elected for the club committee. So starting from SAA Toastmaster Chaitanya. Can someone please? Oh uh, yeah, Chaitanya and Toastmaster for as a treasurer, Toastmaster Amit Gupta. And as a secretary, Toastmasters Chitrakshi Viji, which I'm so sorry, uh, which and our VPPR DTM Saurabh Datta, please. And our VPM Vice President Membership Toastmaster Dwani Adesara. And as a VP Education DTM Nancy Goel. And as our President, soon to be DTM Nagesh Ramamurthy. Yeah, please. No, 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 no. That's all right. Only two. Dwani and Chaitanya Chitrakshi. Amit is not there, right? Okay. Amit is not there. All right. So, their collective challenge is to make this club stronger and dedicate their effort to helping people from all the walks of life to speak in an effective manner and listen with a sensitivity and passionately lead to help many individuals. So each officer is obligated to attend the club executive committee meetings, attend district sponsored club officer training, that is TLI, and prepare a successor for his or own respective office. Right, so let's start one by one. I know if you are on the kind of physical uh, place and if you're on virtual. So whoever over here, please hold the gavel whenever your turn comes. And whoever on the virtual screen, please hold your pen as a, as a symbol of a gavel, which is a symbol of the leadership. So let's begin with Toastmaster Chaitanya Prasad. So Toastmaster Chaitanya Prasad, as a sergeant of arms, your responsibilities include Arrange and ready the virtual or the physical meeting room for the club meetings and events. Maintain all the club equipments in working order. Ensure that adequate club supplies are available. Set up the virtual room before the meeting begins. Take care of the waiting room and allow only the authorized attendees. Lock the meeting room if need be once meeting commences. Ensure to take care of the online meeting controls and the meeting recordings. And make sure that all the relevant educational and PR materials are displayed when you are starting the physical meeting. Attend to the special equipments need, greet the guest, and help the president to make sure the meeting begins on time. So Toastmaster Chaitanya Prasad, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will perform these duties to the best of my abilities. Thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Chaitanya Prasad. So now, moderator, please, okay, uh, spotlight uh, Chitrakshi, please, Toastmaster Chitrakshi. Amit, um, also you have to do, uh, the president will take the word. All right. We'll start with Chitrakshi and then Amit. Okay, I can see her. Right? Okay. So, Toastmaster Chitrakshi Vij, as a secretary, you are expected to maintain an accurate membership roster, work with the treasurer to ensure that the new member application and dues get to the Toastmaster International World Headquarters as soon as possible. Submit the new club officer list to the Toastmaster International on time. Work with the treasurer to submit your club semi-annual report. And take care of noting down attendance of online and offline meetings. And provide the club with the minutes of each meetings. Toastmaster Chitrakshi, which 
will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Now, on behalf of Toastmaster Amit Gupta, we have Nage, Toastmaster Nagesh. So Toastmaster Amit Gupta asked Treasurer, you're expected to keep the financial records and prepare the club budget, announce when it's time for the members to pay the dues, explain the due structure to members, collect dues, and work with the secretary to ensure that the club submit dues on time to Toastmaster International World Headquarters. So will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? On behalf of On behalf. I say yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's my appreciation. So over to DTM Saurav Dutta. So DTM Saurav Dutta, as public VP public relations, you are expected to attract visitors to the clubs through publicity. Use a variety of means to promote the club and its members in as many mediums as possible, such as digital, print, TV, and internet. Enlist your fellow club members in PR activities, providing them the promotional materials and ideas for inviting the guest. Regularly recognize member achievements with the methods such as announcement, newsletters, emails, and articles that you submit for the district bulletin. DTM Saradatta, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, uh, Moderator, can you please spotlight Toastmaster Dwani Adyasara? Toastmaster Dwani, as a VP of membership, you are expected to lead the club members, club's membership building effort help members with any requirement during their journey, listen to their grievances and provide emotional support if need to be. While with the VP of PR motivates the people to visit your club, you motivate the current members to invite guests, promptly give new member applications and the dues to the secretary and the treasurer. Personally, greet the guests and provide them with a guest pack and the guest membership application. Make sure each guest hears about the benefit of the Toastmasters and gets a personal invitation to become a member. And you are representing your club at area and district council meeting. Toastmaster Dwani Adesara, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will perform my duties with the best of my ability. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Dwani. DTM Nancy Goyal, please. DTM Nancy Goel, as Vice President Education, you are expected to gain commitments from the members to set educational goals for themselves, assure that the club members are aware of the schedule and the of meeting roles, plan meetings that will assist members in meeting their individual goals, work with the club members to keep meetings fun and well run. I could always see the fun here. Work with your members to ensure that they submit their application for educational awards promptly. Provide for educational topic at the club meetings, such as those from the successful club series and leadership excellence series. Represent your club at the area and the district council meeting. The second highest ranking officer of the club preside over the meeting when the president is absent. DTM Nancy Goyal, will you perform these? duties to the best of your ability. Yes. Thank you very much, Dr. Nancy. Toastmaster Nagesh. Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamuthi, as the president of the Toastmaster of Gabby's, the Gabby's Toastmaster Club, you are the chief executive officer. Hence, you preside at all the club meetings and all the meetings of the exec club executive committee. We'll see that this club adds new members and meets the need of its current members to achieve their communication and leadership goals. Establish a club climate that is supportive, stimulating and rewarding to its members. Realize that among the sources, resources available to your commitment is towards the fellow club members, officer team, 
area area director division director and district 92 officers and the officers of toastmaster international headquarters Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy, you hold that clavel as a symbol of the power and authority that your club has given you during your term of office. I'm confident that you will use the power and authority wisely and with restraint. You are the member of your team as well as their leader. As a leader, you will work with your team members to create a healthy and a dynamic club, a club which everyone will continue to be proud of. So Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy, as a member of this top Gavi's Toastmaster Club and as well as its leader, will you work with your executive team and the club members to make this as a vibrant and rewarding club this term and help every individual with the honesty, loyalty and empathy? Yes, I will. Dear the Gabby's club members, Please turn on your videos and raise your right hand. So, not just for the club officers, okay? It's for everybody else as well. And please stand in the room. Your officer team has pledged to serve this club to the best of their ability, to be the best Toastmaster club possible, and to meet the needs of its every member. Your club will need participation from each and every one of you right so do you as a member pledge to work with your officer to to make these gabby's toastmaster club the finest toastmaster club it can be we do yes. by, yeah by the authority vested in me as the area director of division b area one district 92 it is my sincere your pleasure to declare these Toastmaster officers installed in their respective club offices. So, of course, please extend your warm welcome to the Glavis Toastmaster executive team for the term July 2023 to December 2023. I congratulate every one of them and I take this opportunity to to thank the club for inviting me and this opportunity to inst for this installation of officers in today's meeting. And yes, to add on to, I mean, already we had a lot heard from about the awards from the DTM Saurav and Toastmaster Nagesh. And one thing I would add is the Gabby's Toastmaster Club has already set a benchmark of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the new XCOM officers as a lot more uh, heavy lifting to do, and they will need to go like <laughs> this already. <laughs> right. So I've already heard a lot. I mean, I've seen a lot that this club has been supporting uh, the other clubs in the division. I hope they continue to support the area A1. B1. B1. <laughs> this area to be the A1 the B1 <laughs> and the division B to best of its ability and yeah congratulations once again over to you my turn yeah. okay okay the new term the new year begins I want to ask one question to all of you. Virtually or otherwise in this room, name the leader whom you see around. Name, name. Sorrow. Nancy. Nancy. Chitrakshi was saying something. I'm saying you. Me. I like this one. <laughs> After election, Yay! the election happy. <laughs> no, no, I, I like, I like uh, when you said you. I reciprocate that. I say you. It's good that you recognize that you are the leader. You are the leader because you are the one who have invested in yourself. Your time, your money, and your efforts is getting invested in Toastmasters. And there cannot be any better investment than investing in yourself. Look at those people. 
who don't move from anywhere A to B, if I have to say, even if the gap is less, you can say they don't move because of inertia. Some people are lazy. And now you have that fab word, no, some people don't move because of procrastination. So leave all that aside. You're here to invest on yourself, become a leader, enhance your leadership wherever you are in whatever position you're in, and then soar higher while we contribute to the club and clubs beyond our gab the Gabbies. So with that, now I want to bring somebody on the stage who was a past VP education, present VP education, and, and who will continue to be VP education, I wish, who is an image consultant and somebody whom I look up to uh, as a very good mentor and a Toastmaster, DGM Nancy Goyal, over to you. Thank you, soon to be DTM Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy. Well, here I am, your Toastmaster of the day. Can somebody tell me what's the theme of the meeting today? Anyone in the room? Toast the roast. Toast the roast, bold beginnings. Any other answers we have? Bold beginnings to toast the roast. Begin to boldly toast the roast. <laughs> Boldly toast the beginning roast. What else? Boldly roast the beginning toast. Okay, whatever. I think it's more of a tongue twister test for me since I'm taking up T mod role after quite some time. No answers from the online audience here. I think they have already done all the tongue twisting. Nothing is left for us. Yeah, to we say have. Anything. Plus, we have it right here. Both no. Okay, that's just a tagline from the division director. This is not the theme for today. Bold beginning. See, nobody paid attention and nobody asked me for theme of the meeting except VPPR, who changed it to something else to whatever I provided him. The theme for today's meeting is roast to a toast. But he mentioned in the agenda, toast of a roast. <laughs> now, now, let's imagine what's going to happen in the next couple of minutes. I think we are left with one hour, 10 minutes from now on. We'll proceed with the theme a little late. But before that, let's proceed with the meeting. To proceed with the meeting, I would like to call upon our general evaluator. Okay, before I call upon the general evaluator, let me give you the meeting structure for today's meeting. For today's meeting, the meeting structure is a little different. We don't have table topic section as we generally have. So we have prepared speech section. We are going to witness some interesting speeches today. Hold your hearts. Second is roast to a toast or toast to a roast and the third section is general evaluation section but before we go on with these three sections that i just talked about let's first have our general evaluator on the stage to tell us about the role objectives how the general evaluator is going to evaluate the entire team entire meeting and his, his or her team to call upon our general evaluator i would like to first introduce her She's somebody who did something unimaginable. She's someone who handled four contests as contest chairs, area B1, area B2, area B3, and area B4. In continuation for two days, morning, afternoon, next day, morning, afternoon, this is something Personally, I cannot think of doing even in my dreams. Someone who is already starting on with bold be beginnings, area director, area B4, Toastmaster Priyanka Ranore. Please welcome. 
question Priyanka Ramavi. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. And sorry. <laughs> No, that's fine, that's fine. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and your guests. Apologies from my side for the mistake that I just did. Anyway, as a general evaluator, it is my responsibility to, to keep a keen watch from the beginning to the end of the meeting and share my feedback to the evaluators and regarding the entire meeting. So fellow Toastmasters, I would like to see all of you very active, very alert, because I will also keep watching all of you and questioning you all at the end of the meeting to see how alert and observative you all have been throughout the meeting. And to support me in this role, we have a timer. And she is, she is someone who has 30 years of experience in the academy as a principal and as a trainer. And I've been very fortunate to be, uh, you know, interacted with her during the speech craft program that was organized by the Gabbies. And who is none other than Toastmaster Samita, the timer of today's meeting. Thank you. I would request you to please read out about your responsibilities, role in this course. Hello. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, as a timer, I will be keeping a watch on the timings. The prepared speeches, that is for five to seven minutes, I will be showing you the green card at five minutes, yellow card at six minutes, and the red card at seven minutes. When it is the time of the evaluation. It is two to three minutes. So at two minutes, you will be getting the green card. At two and a half, you will get the yellow card. And three minutes, you will be getting the red card. Thank you. Thank you so much, Timer to Samita. Just a correction. Based on the project guidelines, timing will be mentioned and accordingly, the upper limit, the middle and the lower limit would be uh, displayed, the cards would be displayed accordingly. All right, so now I would like to hand it over to the Toastmaster of the day and wishing, hoping the entire meeting will go awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, general evaluator. Toast to a roast, roast of a toast. Why I was thinking of this idea. We have been talking about awards, district officers, distinguished Toastmasters, champs, and whatnot. Supporting our clubs, supporting different clubs, and the list goes on and on. All this was possible because of one thing. Because of the backbone of the cabbies. And what's the backbone of the cabbies? The mentors. The mentors. So if I have to reach out to Karthik, I need to first reach out to Chitrakshi, telling her that I want Karthik to do this. This is how it works. And this comes from Saurav because he's my mentor. Having thought of that, I thought, let's do something fun today. I reached out to quite a few of you yesterday, if you know. Yeah. And I asked you one quick question, just one question. Can someone in the room tell me what was the question? Something that your mentor always says. Favorite dialogues of your mentor. Favorite dialogue of your mentor. Yes, thank you, Dwani. Thank you, Pranav. Sanjana, Aparna, all of you just confirmed that I reached out to you and few others too. I couldn't reach out to all of you, my apologies, but some of you responded back. Thank you so much. As we progress further with the meeting, we will understand, we will try to figure out who said what. I'll leave that all to you. Let's move on with the first section of the meeting, the prepared speech section. For the prepared speech section, we have two interesting projects today. For the first project, 
I would like to call upon the first evaluator. Our first evaluator is someone who says she is a hippie at heart, a mompreneur, entrepreneur, and my ex-business partner, Toastmaster Aparna Raja. Please welcome Raja Thank you, Vikram Namaste. Hello, good morning. Quickly, my target speaker today is attempting a very interesting project, managing a difficult audience. Her path is presentation mastery. This is her L4 P1 speech. Timer, please note this is a 10 to 15 minute project. So the timing would be 10 minutes green, 12 and a half would be yellow, and at the 15th minute would be her red card. With that, we will be having a few dis uh, disruptions and interruptions, and we're going to see how well she handles it. The purpose of this project is for the member to practice the skills needed to address audience challenges when she presents outside of the Toastmasters Club. We are essentially mimicking another situation, but let's not mimic too much. Let's go a little easy on her. With that said, I hand it back to the Toastmaster of the day, and I say, get it, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much, Toastmaster Aparna Raja. Timer, before I introduce the speaker, please make a note, this project is for 10 to 15 minutes. 10 minutes, green card, 12 minutes, yellow card, and 15 minutes, red card. All right, let me introduce the speaker for the first project. She says she's someone, as explained by her, daughter, uh, her dad, jack of all trades, and master of none. But I would ask her to complete this, this phrase for her dad telling him that oftentimes a jack of all trades is better than master of one. Please put your hands together for our first speaker, Toastmaster Devani Nair, a closet full of clothes. A closet full of clothes, Toastmaster Devani Nair. I want everyone to just close their eyes for a moment. Close it. Close such a pretty close your eyes, please. Now look into your closet. Count how many t-shirts you have. T-shirts you get from birthday parties, the ones your corporate offices gives you. Now count how many pairs of jeans you have. Just one. My eyes because uh, I can't. I I won't be able to see you. I just want you to pay attention to yourself, like to your what you pay attention to you. Open your eyes now. And okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to... <laughs> everyone, please open your eyes. Uh, distinguished to Toastmaster fast fancy. How many t-shirts do you have? How many pairs? How many pairs of jeans do you have? No idea. Well, I looked into my closet. I had 54 t-shirts and 24 pairs of jeans in all shapes and colors. Basically. I have closets full of clothes and nothing to wear. How many of us here have uttered and thought of those very same words that I have a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear? Yeah, but I get that thought, uh, you know, of having clothes uh, that I have. But then even I'm somebody that it's okay. I don't want to spend also. But I don't have that thinking always that I have nothing to wear. I have many clothes actually in my closet. I love that for you. Me too. Yeah. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. Needless to say, I love fashion. I love putting together clothes and looking and feeling good. So I was thinking, just how years back, food was going through an organic shift. Fashion, the fashion world is also currently experiencing this organic transition. Have you ever noticed um, after fashion shows in London, New York, or Paris, you get the cheap knockoffs just a few days later? Who here has worn those Abiba special or G-O-C-H-I shoes and things like that? I have. Okay, now that is called fast fashion. It's a process by which clothes... Uh, I guess English, old English was a little sexist that way. 
I shall take you up on that and go argue with him and try to change his mindset. Because I will let you know. I never thought of it. Thank you for letting me know. I will get back to you with when I do my next role. Anyway, who I'm sure you bought fake clothes, fake branded things. Oh, wow, you're very rich, I assume. <laughs> so this is called fast fashion, in which clothes are produced in shorter time periods with lower cost and often lower quality. The basic idea is to buy whatever is trending right now, wear it six or seven times, and then just discard it. So I was thinking, how did it all even start? As usual, I went to my mother. But overall cost cost would be the same, right? You'll wear it for two, three times, discard, buy a new one, and then again buy another one. So it's almost the same cost, right? To buy a branded one rather than buying a non-branded one. How is it the same cost? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Um, our buy a hundred rupee t-shirt, wear it for three weeks, then buy again. And uh, in six months, you'll end up buying around six to seven t-shirts. That's around 700. In 650, you'll get a new t-shirt. That is branded. I will t-shirts, branded t-shirts. Anyway, coming back. Uh, bra uh, so fast fashion. I asked my mother, "What? How did it all even start?" Your mother is a fashion. Uh, like a non-professional. I think I am too. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she, she was. She was told me that she's about forty-five now. So around the eighties. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have maybe told my mother's age. <laughs> so she was telling around the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> so she was telling me that shopping used to be an occasional event. They went out shopping just a few times a year, mostly when season changed or she outgrew her clothes. But something so changed the last week. I don't know. If they were alive, I would have asked them. <laughs> Oh, do you carry your wife's handbag every time she goes shopping? Do you help her carry her handbag? No. Oh, maybe you should try that. It's very cute when people do that. I love it when couples do that for each other. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so something changed in the last 20 years about how, how fast fashion came into thing. Basically, clothes became cheaper, trends started coming in faster, and shopping became a hobby. Who is good at GK here? I like to think I am. Thank you. How? Uh, it's called general knowledge. Oh, is it that? What was the question that was asked? I couldn't hear properly. Chaitanya, could you hear that? Uh, who's good at GK? No, my God, just lost. Huh? I'm good at GK. Yeah. Okay, question. I'm also, yeah, Chaitanya, I feel even I'm really good at general knowledge. With Google, uh -huh. I'm the best. Yeah, I think we can all totally Google things and we can totally get to know. I think I'm totally, yeah. I love that. Uh, so I see a lot of people are good at GK here. What is the largest polluter in the world? Clothing. Clothing actually the industry. Clothing industry. It's dye actually. Dye. Oh, that he used to paint the clothes. Largest polluter. Dye. Dye. Oh, Very. No wonder you're at an IIT. So clothing. I, I was shocked to find out that the fashion industry. Huh? I, I'm sorry, Catherine. My mom said this. Oh, I think. Since my mom, my dad told me I'm the jack of all trades. I'm mad at him. So fashion, so fashion is the second large. So fashion is the second large. 
I hope Bible is CA. That is great. That's both of you are so smart. I wonder if your kids are too. And I hope that's how genetics work. Yeah, I'm also going to be. Yeah, I'm also. I chose not to go for the engineering path only because I find if that's like a, the base thing for being in engineering is to no, have no personalities. Why is it so easy? She told me she went to Japan. Oh, clothing is the second largest polluter in the world. Kudos to you, so much respect. So, clothing is the second largest polluter in the world. What So, I, I was absolutely shocked to find this out. And I was, I was like, how is this even possible? So I did a little research on this. Turns out the fashion industry works in a take, make, waste format. We take from the environment with no little, no hesitation. We give little regard to who actually makes up these clothes. And we throw away our clothes in the waste after wearing it a few times. Uh, so this is so... It blew my mind. And since <laughs> oh, I wear for holy clothes the next year too. So that, that's a great idea. Pocha <laughs> and wearing it as holy clothes. I, I also donate it. And I'm Devin. sure numbers. Devin, Devin. Don't you donate clothes? Uh Maybe I should start now that you asked. Yeah, actually, I totally agree with the idea, Chaitanya. Actually, even I have started donating my clothes, not right. making it pocha, but instead, why to use clothes as pocha when you can donate it and you know you can give shelter to somebody and give clothing to somebody else? Yes. So, yeah. Very generous. Very yes, pocha is a kind of Indian thing, so that is constant, that will remain constant, but donation is something you should start. Absolutely. I think in Gatis, we should do it. We should plan something and we should start donating our old clothes. Sort of, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll parcel my clothes. <laughs> I do, I do. I will, I will. So I see a lot of engineers here and I realize uh, putting things into numbers works best for you. Uh, who's good at math here? Okay. Everyone is good at pets. Okay, can anyone guess how many liters of water it takes to make one pair of jeans? Like, to make it, to make how many liters of water it takes to make one pair of jeans? Where are more than that? Higher. 10,000 liters? Higher. 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 Devyani. Devyani. <laughs> so it takes 7,000 liters of water to make one pair of jeans. I have same reaction. Same reaction. No, it, it, the amount of cotton and your material jeans has, it takes 7,000 liters to actually grow that much. So I have 24 pairs of jeans at home. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But around estimate 7,000. So I have 24 pairs of jeans at home. And that takes around 1,68,000 liters. Okay, great. A lot of water. Now I drink about 2 liters a day if my mother reminds me. So that means I have 429 years worth of drinking water in my closet right now. And now this is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> we are so we are constantly bombarded by marketing campaigns to buy more to spend more. I am telling you, you should buy clothes, but do not go shopping as often. The environment pays price for our need for fashion. So, what can you and I do at personal level? Firstly, when you don't know what to do, I've learned the best thing. It's to do nothing at all. And in my mind, that translated into shopping less. Buying less is the first step. Try to fall back in love with the clothes you already own. 
by styling them differently or flipping them inside out, make those 1990s jeans of good, <laughs> make it fancy by give, making it Bermuda's or shorts. You would love, you look great wearing that in a beach. And you can even turn that fancy kurti into a pretty tunic later on. Try to reuse them as much as possible. Uh, could you just lower the volume? Thank you. <laughs> Secondly, buy eco friendly fabric. Cotton, jute, bamboo fabric. They've all, and oh, actually, India is one of the biggest exporters for eco friendly fabric. Does anyone know what Met Gala is here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People just here. <laughs> So close. It's a very fancy fundraiser held up held in the New York Metropolitan Museum, where you have the biggest names of the industry walk the red carpet. And this year, that red carpet was made in India. It was made by a brand in Kerala called Nate, and they they said, proudly celebrate this exclusive space for sustainable living by using materials like linen and light mousseline and etc. And thirdly, we must make our clothes. Last, I mean, even I never used to read the aftercare instruction that used to come in the back of my t-shirts. I just cut it off and threw it away. But reading that makes your clothes last. We should try mending them and stitching them as much as possible. And finally, responsibly recycling in them. And just your clothes will last forever that way. Devani, how does it last? The market charge is going like that. Yes. How does it last? By just reading it? You basically just take care of it. Like how? Uh, you wash it in a nice... You don't wash it or you don't try to uh, have... Wash it in a harsh way. Now what is harsh way? <laughs> uh, Tosma yes. Shafeta said... You should either take bar or wash it. You can go to like, just wear your clothes and take a bath. I love that, but I'm not artistically uh, capable of doing that. <laughs> So next time you go shopping, ask yourself, do I really need it? Why am I even buying it? But if I want it? Will I wear it for a long time? Or can I just buy one or get it thrifted? Now thrifted is what I do personally. Thrifting has been there for years, but recently it's uh, become more famous. So my entire outfit is thrifted. Oh, sorry, you can't see my jeans. These jeans are thrifted. This kurti is made from uh, the so extra sofa material my mom had, and this jacket was hand embroidered from Jaipur. So my entire uh, fit right now is an eco friendly, sustainable, and it was huh? the jeans are thrifted. So it was actually owned by someone else before, but it had enough life with them to have a new owner, oh, which I absolutely cherish them. And you know, uh, the jacket you from Jaipur. I went to Jaipur. I I. I went vacationing to Jaipur, so I got it from there. Oh, uh, so can I get, ask where your lipstick is now? My lipsticks are not the same. That's a very different thought process of what I have. Thank you for that. So, next time you go shopping, just ask yourself these questions and just ask yourself if you really need it. Thank you. We have a boss for you to give us. All right, all right. I think we can keep the discussions. For later part of the day, this is not my managing difficult audience project. Please understand. Let's come back to the room.
Everyone, once again, a huge round of applause. Fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm still wondering if you are alive or not. <laughs> Coming back to the theme of the day today, toast to a roast. I'll be reading out some of the dialogues from the mentors and all of you, except the one who has given me those dialogues, you have to tell me who's the mentor behind those dialogues. Are we all ready? Yes. Okay, the first one goes here. You do you, you do it your way. Who's that? Toastmaster by nine. This was given to me by Toastmaster Shilpa. <laughs> One of the mentors is not here in the room, but I'll still uh, read it because this is very cute way of telling. Let's keep the, let's keep away the fear. Thanks for bringing that to my notice. Good to know. I'm listening. Lakshmi. Let's sign in all Lakshmi. the opportunities. Toastmaster Lakshmi. Yes, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Next one. This was given to me by Toastmaster Abigail. Oh, yes. Next one. Deku Menti, as a mentor, it's my job to make you realize and understand all the possible outcomes. This mentee also says, whenever I call my mentor, my mentor is like, Haan, bolo, ab kya hua? Dhani is the mentor, Dhani is the mentee. Nancy, Dhani is the first one. That is Nancy. That is Nancy. Is it Nancy, Dhani or Saurav? I'm getting three names. I say Dhani. Yes, Chaitanya. I guess Dhani. Dhani is the mentor here? Dhani is the mentor here. Okay, the mentor is Dhani here. You would be surprised to know. This time, your mentor is also Menti. So, Menti is the Dhani and mentor is Nancy. A few more dialogues that she has given me. She gave me a long list. Apne mentees ko bolo website up update karne ko. We have to file educational awards. <laughs> That's me only. Okay. Achha sun. Exactly. Saurav, Saurav, Saurav. That's Saurav and this was given to me by? By? If I uh, were to give the dialogues, I'll be like, haan bol. <laughs> <laughs> that was given to me by Toastmaster Parna Raja. <laughs> okay, next one. You are Mr. Busy. You make some time. I know you know this already, but still, I will tell you. <laughs> yes. Okay, now listen. <laughs> Okay, this was Toastmaster Chitrakshi, well guessed. And uh, who gave me these dialogues? Chaitanya. Chaitanya, Kartik, who? Kartik. Both of them. They gave me <laughs> same dialogues. <laughs> okay, next one. Chalo, let's give this speech for the part and project Katam. <laughs> Dhwani is the mentor, and this was given to me by Toastmaster Pranav. Yes. All right, we'll pack it here. Let's move on with the next project that we have at hand. I would like to call upon our second evaluator. Our second evaluator needs no introduction. He has been introduced multiple times during the meeting. Our division director, current division director, division B. Toastmaster Nagesh. Toastmaster Nagesh. The purpose of this project for the member is to demonstrate the skill as a leader and a public speaker. This project calls for two speeches, speech one and speech two. 
speech one has already been given where the member has demonstrated or shared what is the plan and the vision for the project. Now the member is now giving the second uh, speech here in the club today, where he is going to share his experiences doing this project with all of us. All the best to him. Watch you. Our second speaker is attempting DTM project speech two, which is for 10 to 12 minutes. Toastmaster Samita, please make note, 10 minutes green card, 11 minutes yellow card, and uh, 12 minutes red card. With this, I would like to call upon our second speaker. Our please, past division. please repeat the timings. All right, I'll repeat the timing protocols for you. 10 minutes green card, 11 minutes yellow card, 12 minutes, Green, uh, red card. Our next speaker is past division director, but to me, he's someone who says, I'm his closest friend. This is what I take pride in. Please, <laughs> to which Toastmaster Parna would take offense. But with this, let's call upon our second speaker, distinguished Toastmaster Saurav Dutta, a team of maniacs. A team of maniacs, distinguished Toastmaster Saurav Dutta. Toastmaster has a few copyrighted properties. Can you tell me uh, a couple of those which you can't use outside of Toastmasters? It's the logo. It's the logo. Okay. What else? Table topics. If you notice the word table topics, every time table topics is mentioned, after that is an R symbol. It says registered. Okay. Table topics is not something which can be used outside of Toastmasters in any other forum, any other organization, say Indian Speaker Society. They can't use the word table topics. That's much is the importance of table topics. In Toastmasters, that we have registered that. How many of you are most excited about the table topic section? Raise your hands. Yes. And how many of you have been to a meeting wanting to participate in a table topic and never got the chance? Again, everyone, right? There is no Toastmaster who can say that I have been to a Toastmaster meeting, wanted to do a but the TT master never invited me. In fact, when I became the area B3 director, I used table topics as a way to enter the club, impress the club, because people say that I speak reasonably okay. So I thought that if I am participating in the table topics, people will get a little impressed and I'll get a chance to put a foot in the door. I tried that with Bangalore Toastmasters Club. In that entire session of 30 minutes of table topics, I raised my hand 29 times and I was royally ignored. <laughs> Later, I didn't give up. I went to another meeting of theirs and there again I raised my hand, this time 32 times. This time also I was ignored. I got desperate. I wrote to the VP Education. That time it was Hannah Victoria, who was currently an area director under the uh, Toastmaster Nagesh, the Nagesh Division. She said that. Along with our role takers, even our table topic speakers have decided beforehand. I said, holy cow, then what stand, what chance do I stand? We have the new VP education of uh, VTMC, maybe uh, she'll relook at that policy. But essentially what it did is, for people like me, it used to create a frustration that, how do I participate in table topics? See, there are certain types of clubs, clubs where there are many people, and clubs where there aren't any people, right? And it's the first type of clubs that we want to give table topics. Everyone wants an audience, right? Unless you're singing, you're as good or a bad singer as me, you would want an audience for any performance that you have. Now, in clubs where there are many speakers, you never get a chance. There are clubs where there aren't any speakers, there you don't want to give a table topic. There's no one listening to you, it's not so motivating. So every time I used to go to a meeting, I used to face this problem. The second problem what I used to face is that I never got an evaluation back on my table topics. 
I always thought I'm a great table topic speaker, at least for the first six months, till the table topic contest happened at the Gavis and reality hit and how. So after that embarrassment, I have come down to the ground and I've realized that I'm not a great table topic speaker, but I need practice and where do I go to practice? And that is the thought which motivated me to start the table topic manual, the TT manual of division B district 19. Because we wanted a platform where people will come and practice table topics. The other thing what, used to, what I also noticed is there are some structural inefficiencies in the way we conduct table topics. We say, this is a place for you to come and overcome your fear. Correct? I come, I'm, I'm lucky to be selected in this time. I overcome my fear. And then there's a poll that happens. And oh my God, they also share the poll results on the screen. Which shows there are 10 speakers. There were 25 votes casted. I got zero. Right? Is that how we'll overcome my fear? Next time when I'm again going back on stage, do you think that I'll be able to do that? There are many speakers who are not comfortable to come on camera. They feel that, yeah, it's necessary for us to show our body language, but then we're talking about overcoming our fear. So we will have to take baby steps. But the first thing that a table topic master will tell you even before thinking about the topic is, can you please switch on your camera? <laughs> right? If I want to hide behind the camera and do a speech, I'm not allowed. Most clubs, they don't encourage them. So essentially, you see this entire construct of table topics that we have in the club meetings, though the purpose is to remove fear, what I feel is in the instance, more fear, more doubt, and people get more unsure about it. And this is where I wanted to get started with this initiative. I would be lying through my teeth if I say that this initiative was my own original idea. Before me, many people have tried it. TT Mania Midnight, TT Midnight Mania is something that I that we started as a part of Division B last year. That time our division director was distinguished toastmaster, Sayri Shah. We started off with that. And then we saw there are two kinds of people there. People who are already sleeping or people who are about to sleep. <laughs> and then we decided that that's not the right time for doing those meetings. Then there is an initiative started by um, DTM uh, Vijit Roy, uh, which also went on for some time. That kind of got stalled. That's another story for some another meeting, probably. But the one where I got this idea of having the evaluation part is a meeting which used to happen. I don't know if they're even Toastmasters, but there was a platform where they used to do it uh, somewhere in the Middle East. And there were uh, a few people who used to come together, forgetting the name of the club. Uh, they used to meet on Saturdays as well. And I attended a few of the meetings and I liked this format of day having a continuous evaluation, you know, kind of a round robin. And I picked up that format and I decided to implement this in Division B. Now, starting an initiative is the easiest thing you do because that's what keeps you relevant. But continuing with the initiative is the harder part. And this is where I needed a team. And I, I, got, I was very lucky to have a team. The first person to come forward without me even Asking that person to come forward is my associate division director, program quality, Toastmaster Shankho De. He said, I will take care of this, sort of, and he did. Uh, come hell, come storm, even if I forget, at, he will ensure that the table topic master is ready, the timer is ready, the presiding officer is ready, and we are locked in. And Shankho did it for a good 25 sessions. After that, Shankho moved out of town, and then there was a vacuum in leadership, and I wasn't motivated enough for me to uh, continue with this initiative, to be very honest. At that point of time, Dina happened. And I've talked about Dina in multiple meetings. And the reason you see Dina in today's meeting is because we met each other at the table topic mania. And that's how we became friends. And from that, the friendship continued. So that was a huge motivation for me. But motivation alone is not good enough for you to drive an initiative. You need resources. You need planning. You need a strategy. And um, there was a time when I decided that I don't want to continue with this. And at that time, the contests happened and we all got busy. After the contest got over, uh, our current division director, Toastmaster Nagesh Ramagurthi, he had pushed me. He said that, sort of, let's start this. This is making a difference to people's lives. 
Now, I am a kind of a person who says what it feels. In God we trust, rest everyone must bring data. And I didn't have the data. The participation alone is not data enough that is making a difference to people's life. Maybe people are only doing it for their own entertainment. Maybe people are doing it just because they don't have anything better to do on a Saturday evening. So I wanted, I wanted some real solid reason for me to restart this. And the reason came from Nepal. The dis one of the district finalists of Table Topics, Toastmaster Vinita Goel, she reached out to me. She's my mentee. I have mentees all across the world. So she reached out to me. No, not literally. It's, it's more of a, uh, yeah, I do take pride in the fact that I do have mentees from other places because, you know, it, it kind of gives me the confidence that I'm being able to touch people's lives. And also it's a great learning because people in different parts of the world learn differently. And in fact, I believe in reverse mentoring. So what you are mentoring, when you're mentoring someone, you also get to move from other people. So there are a lot of things that you get to know from them. But coming to Vinita, so Vinita messaged me saying that, uh, you know, Saurav, I need your help for the table topics. Just I did help her and we had a few discussions. She did not have a podium finished, but that's totally fine. I mean, being in a district contest itself is a big deal. And she was there in the district contest and table topics. So after the contest happened, Vinita dropped me a note saying that Saurav, I reached here only because of table topics. Because every time I used to take the stage, I used to shut. You know, I didn't have any idea what will I do. I never thought I can reach there. And just because of table topic money and the safe space that you provided me, I was able to reach there. I said, can you put this in words for me? And can I use the testimony? I want other people to also come for me. She did. And when she did, then I got another testimony from our current district and to table topic champion, Toastmaster Rappan Naraj. Uh, Aparna and I, we are good friends. So it is always easy for me to assume that Aparna is doing this to make me feel good. But then she gave me a fact. And when she gave me that fact, then I realized that yes, Aparna had the first time Aparna participated in the District 92 contest. She was not there even in the top three. And that definitely took a hit on her part. So I know that for my, as a matter of fact, because I was her mentor then and I'm her mentor now. And then I realized that yes, it is making a difference. And hence, we restarted this. The attendance keeps on dwindling. But my principle has always been, if there, are, if there is even one person, apart from the timer, PO and DTM in the table topic manual, that session is worth doing. If that person is ready to participate in three topics, give that person three topics. Because we are making up for the loss of opportunity, which is happening because of the construct of the table topic sessions in the groups. And that's how the table topic mania happened. It is one of my dream projects, which has taken off very well, thanks to the support I got, particularly from Shonko and from Nagesh. And a lot of you have supported me in this. Today's session is being chaired by Aparna. So continue to support this because this is truly this is something that truly reflects the Gabby's values, that we do things for a cause, not for an applause. The applause is always going to come any which ways once you achieve that applause. But if that applause is there in your mind, then in that case, that initiative will be nothing but a bubble which will burst one day. And you will be left thinking, why did I do this? So to do any such initiatives, which is out of the ordinary, you need a team of maniacs. And in this case, I had a very strong team of Toastmaster Nagesh and Toastmaster Shankar who supported me in this. And thank you so much. Thank you everyone who helped me in driving the table topic manual. Thank you. May we have another round of applause for our soon to be second DTM, double DTM today. This was his second DTM speech. And with this, I think he already uh, fulfilled all the criteria that we had for DTM. And with this, we'll be filing his DTM soon. All right, um, uh, I have one table topic for Dina here. Do we have Dina in the room? I don't see her in the room. Okay. All right. Couple more dialogues from the mentors and mentees. Are we ready? Oh, yes. Okay, this one goes something like this. 
तो मेंटी देखो आपको क्या करना है ना आपको डॉट 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 हो You are not supposed to tell that because this is the menti who gave me the title. <laughs> this was given to me by Toastmaster Neha for Toastmaster Nagesh. <laughs> no, nobody guessed it. Anyone? So Neha, see. You have to do what you have to do. then he continues with what she needs to okay next one this is the last one for the day this mentee goes like ha ha smart to main bachpan se hi thi and and the mentor is like bas implement to mentor milne ke baat kar rahi ho oh god now you guys know it What's the next part? Is that all? May I have two volunteers? Sanjana, let's have Karthik. He hasn't participated yet. Okay, we have got two volunteers: Toastmaster Sanjana and Toastmaster Karthik. Your mentor is, and your mentor is Chitrakshi. Toastmaster Parna and Toastmaster Chitrakshi, they need to um impersonate their mentors and. <laughs> and talk about a situation that that they can come up with. I leave it up to you guys to decide what is the situation where Chitrakshi and Parna are talking. You are Parna, you are Chitrakshi. Okay. Come in front of the camera, please. Can we have? Timer. Set the time for one minute. Green card. One and a half minute. Yellow card and two minutes. Red card. Okay, we have to come in front of the camera. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> She is in front of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Karthik. What are uh, what are you doing? Okay. Listen now. your next path is sorry your next uh, level is level 5 so what are you going to do you start writing speeches and how you are going to start speeches very fastly you, you shouldn't be taking time and how do you do that and how do you gain it by just think that you're speaking with someone so you have to go on stage and try to speak with someone as you're having conversation with anyone you need to speak to each other with who <laughs> Okay, okay. She's speaking to me now. Okay, okay. Chitrakshi is speaking to Appa. Okay, casual conversation. Okay, fine. Hey, my Appa, how are you? Okay. So what's up? So what are your plans now? Uh, so yeah, now I'm just busy with my business. Okay. Okay, listen now. So what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to go this week. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no Okay. Yeah. So in weekend, I go for my personal development, and obviously, I have a Toastmasters meeting for it. Okay. And I just want to know what were your preparation preparations for table topics as in one particular topic? Nine. Yes. Okay. 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 We'll make it easier for them now. They have been roasted enough, and their mentors have been roasted enough. Thank you, Dos Master Samita, for the timing cards and the round of applause. Sanjana, you didn't get a chance to speak much. You are open to impersonate your mentor. No conversation with anyone. Over to you. 
Uh, okay, so I first I'll tell the situation and then I'll tell what she told me. So uh, towards the end of June, I started doing back-to-back -back speeches. So it, I had very less time to connect with Aparna and ask for her feedback after every speech. Uh, so I always look forward to her feedback because it's really valuable to me. So after I finished my uh, level one, so I remember I gave the second speech. So it was an evaluation and feedback. So I gave my second speech uh, and then my evaluator was Preeti and uh, she told me to work on my pauses and make sure that I, you know, don't do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> got so energetic and calm down a little. <laughs> so uh, I and Aparna talk in voice messages. Uh, so this is what she sent me. Okay, Sanjana, listen. See, you're a great speaker, but you have to work on your pauses. And this is really difficult and it will take time. And this is what I'm working on. So from next time, just calm down. Work on your pauses. Yes, and Preeti said, and as Preeti said, it's very important to pause even after rhetorical questions. Even after you ask rhetorical questions, you need to pause because the audience need to understand. They need to think over what you're saying. So yes, Anjana, some things to work on. We work on this, and next time you're going to give a speech, you're good to go. All the best. <laughs> That was very well done. May I have someone from the only online audience to impersonate their mentor? Okay, Chitra, she wants to roast her mentor. <laughs> All right. Everyone, please, uh, please be silent so that we can hear her. Go on, Chitra, she. Hi, Nancy. Nancy, calm down. What is happening? Hi, Nancy. Hey, Chits. Can you do this? Can your mentee stay this up? Can you, can you work on this? Are you sure? Um, Nancy, I, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, can you please direct me? Okay, I'm a little busy with my meetings right now. I will talk to you after this. I will send you a voice note. Okay, Nancy. And I get it. Okay, Chits. Here are the things that you need to take care of. One, two, three, four, five. This is what you do. This is how you do it. This is what you do. Are you okay? Do you get it? Hitchits, 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 can you do this? Yes, Nancy. Hitchits, do this. Yes, Nancy. Hitchits, worried? Yes, Nancy. You'll do it. You'll manage. Don't worry about it. Just take this up. Okay, Nancy. Hitchits, yes, Nancy. Speech not available. Take it up. Uh, okay, Nancy. Hitchits, Hitchits. So every call that I get starts with a Hitchits. And I, I've never really liked my name getting so short but with her I think I've just taken it in my stride because I'm like, hey, just, uh, you have to take this piece lot of just do it so people in the room have already announced you as the table topic winner for today thank you so much Chitrakshi, you are not that easy, I would say. It's not obvious. Yes, Nancy. Okay, Nancy. But that's a topic for another meeting. Thank you so much. And a huge round of applause for all those who have participated till now. With this, I would like to hand it over to our journal evaluator to proceed with the last section of the meeting, Toastmaster Priyanka Ranare. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Nancy. You know, I think earlier we spoke so much about roast, roast, roast that I think when I was called earlier, I kind of roasted myself. <laughs> and we're going, getting back to the evaluation. I must say the meeting started on time, sharp at 10 a.m. And kudos to the sergeant at arm, that is Toastmaster Chaitanya. You took over the stage and you did your role really very well. You mentioned the three roles. You introduced the presiding officer. Everything was perfect. If I had to give a suggestion, if I may, with something probably I would suggest to you when you're mentioning three roles, if you could bring in a little bit of creativity. So just, you know, plainly saying the three rules, if you could. And since we had the theme of the day, which was something regarding the roast, 
and the toast, probably you could have connected with the presiding officer and taken an incident about the roast and toast that he had experienced and introduced him in that manner instead of having that very, uh, you know, the normal kind of uh, introduction of the presiding officer about, you know, his profession and this, something different. Because basically it is very important that the person you introduce a person that you know not we don't know about certain uh, fa information or faces about the person that you're going to introduce that is something that i would recommend moving on we had a presiding officer which was distinguished toastmaster saurav datta what i really liked is as soon as you took over the stage you mentioned about gabby's when it started it was definitely a very good thing for especially people the guests at least who are not much aware of gabby's how it started and what all contribution you acknowledge everyone's contribution that is really commendable sometimes we kind of miss this but very well done with that part something that maybe i also thought if you know you could have also spoken a little about the theme gotten something started with that and then taken a different turn about the acknowledgements about everything that you know toastmasters division b gabby's that would have something which Something different if I had looked forward for. Then after that, we had installation ceremony. And then we had, again, the new uh, presiding officer, the president of the club, which took over the stage. That was Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy. I like the fact that he started regarding the leadership, what are leaders about, everything he took over over that tone since he took over the stage. Took, I mean, he was installed right away. Otherwise, I have nothing to add on. Now, moving on to the next uh, section, which we had was the prepare speech section. I would first like to call the first evaluator of the first speaker that was Toastmaster Devrani. Evaluator was Toastmaster Aparna. Oh, good. So good morning again, and a very good morning to my target speaker, Toastmaster Devrani. That was no easy project. And today, I would even go on and say that it went a little out of hand because we had two formats. Being a hybrid meeting, you had people here on, sta on the stage here and online. Despite that, you did a wonderful job. Kudos to you. Give yourself a nice, hard, strong. Cool. So let's start off with the great points today. The topic that was chosen was wonderfully delivered, of course. I don't have to uh, look at your speech. But the main thing I was looking at was how well you diffused the interruptions that happened and what was the format, the strategies that you used. I must say, you were very respectful to everyone here who interrupted here. Too, you know, And I hope that trait continues because that's important. You also kept coming back to your topic wonderfully well how you were able to refocus back to your topic because at the end of the day that was your task here delivering that speech despite all the interruption you were able to bring it back and you even completed i'm guessing it went a little over time but that's okay we are here to learn but you did a good job finishing that speech now moving on to what can be better your strategy primarily was something all of us can take note here is that you didn't simply ask people to keep quiet despite them being extremely irritating, you didn't say, can you please keep quiet? That's the easiest thing people do. Instead, you ask them a question. For example, Toastmaster Nancy said, I don't want to close my eyes. I just want to look at you. Then you posed a question to her and you said, so how many pairs of jeans do you have? And you brought it back. You took her to the topic. I think that's ingenious. And I would also go and say that asking questions, you should be able to give a witty answer to bring it back. If you fail there, it's not going to come back. So it's a double-edged sword. Right? Giving a witty answer is great, but if the other person is smarter than you, you're done for. <laughs> right? So that could be a strategy you could try to use in a few places, not everywhere. Try it when you feel you can bring it back. Otherwise, there are other ways. To, for example, you could have said, Thank you. That is your uh, take on it. I respect that, but can we wait till the others finish the exercise? So you know that person's going to stop and not going to interrupt because you ask them fair and fair to keep quiet, right? So use other strategies, not the same strategy everywhere. The second thing was, um, as the conversation went on, in some places, you were getting drawn into it. You were getting drawn into the conversation where your time was lost. And that was bound to happen. I know your mother, oh, someone has, I know, 
too. And then they started talking about your mother, right? It was totally off topic and it was going away. And there were a lot of people. So to be fair to you, it was way over top, uh, you know, interruption today. So that happened. However, one strategy that you can do is very respectfully, like I said, we have to be respectful, very respectfully tell them to hold on to those discussions. Hey, let's, let's hold on to those discussions. We do have time after. Let's go. So put a stop to it. Diffuse it. So effective diffusion is ensuring there is no further discussion on that interruption. That should happen, not just for the moment, effectively cut it off. So just those two points, but otherwise you did a fab job, very respectful, keep coming back to the topic, just ensure that when you ask questions and are being witty with the audience, they're not smarter than you. You should bring it back. And the second thing is that make sure it is an effective diffusion so there is no further continuation. Thank you very much, back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Aparna, for such a detailed and clinical evaluation. Now, moving on to the sec second speaker that was distinguished Toastmaster Saurabh Datta, who was evaluated by Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy. Thank you. A DTM project, second speech. I have written very few in my sheet. <laughs> I was distracted by the mentor mentee discussion. So, nevertheless, Let's see how the speech went. A planning a project, executing it, and finishing it with finesse is actually a very, very difficult task. What I would say is uh, any project that you do, you need a reason. A reason can be a person. A reason can be a non-living also. Reason can be somebody in a circle or somebody, somebody who is very far, far off. That was very well brought out by DTM Sorrow, saying that, why did he do this project? I, I like that bit of it very, very clearly. You need a reason for the project. Need not be financial always. There's some satisfaction also. So that was very well done as to what was the motivation part of it. Secondly, when you do a project, it all starts with thinking. It starts here, then the execution. You think, think a little more, think more, and think deeper. Then comes the plan. Actually, plan sprouts like a seed sprouting, you know. Then you plan, replan, and then try to execute it. In his speech, it was very, very clear and evident as to how did he do all this the TT mania from the phase one and the phase two, the organization of it, setting an order to it. And also he created that oh-ho moment when he said, I restarted because somebody gave me a feedback that because of you, because of this project that I moved on and where I'm where, where I am. So that was also very well brought about. Thirdly, on a project, what is more important is the support system. No project is done alone. No achievement is done alone. And that was very clearly defined and depicted in his speech that he had a support system alongside in his project that he could really pull it off. He want, What was the objective? To bring in, to unfear the fear that people have. That's the support system which helped him do that. Now, there are two small little things that I have to add to uh, if you have to give the speech again. One is you went to Bangalore Toastmasters and raised your hand twice. Once 29 times and secondly 39 times and you were frustrated. And with the whole uh, audience was laughing because you were laughing. And that was not frustration. Maybe you were enjoying the moment. <laughs> Since you are enjoying here that moment, reminiscing that moment, we also enjoyed it. But that was not the right situation. You are frustrated. Show that frustration around because uh, that's needed. Emotions have to come and it has to be shown here. The way you were smiling, that's an emotion. Show the frustration also. Second thing was uh, you have, being in Gabby, you have to now 
imbibe a lot of energy from everybody, those who are very energetic. So you will have to bring in that energy uh, into your speeches more. With that, uh, back to you, uh, the general one. Thank you so much, Toastmaster uh, Nagesh Amamurthy. As a general evaluator, it's also my responsibility to evaluate the evaluators. But we had such good evaluators who gave very detailed, who knew about the objectives and the feedback that they need to give that I have nothing to add upon. And moving on to our Toastmaster of the day. I mean, the way she started and she created the curiosity with the theme was something really well appreciated. And I also like the fact that you tried to bring that interaction between the mentor mentee. So that is something that also, you know, made me realize very important to pay attention when anybody speaks to you. That is something kudos to you. That is, you always bring something innovative and as always, you did the same today. I have nothing to add as of now, but probably if the theme was much more clear, we would have all been a little more well prepared or I don't know if it is a miss from my end, but otherwise it was great. Should I call the time before we are done with the time? Just ask this one. So I would now request the timer to please read out the uh, time. She needs to be unmuted. Do we have any here? Uh, for the prepared speech, Devani has taken 16 minutes. Uh, 40 seconds and DTM Saurabh Datta has taken 12 minutes 17 uh, seconds. Evaluator Aparna has taken 3 minutes and 26 seconds and DM Nagesh has taken 3 minutes and 48 seconds. Uh, do I need to tell the timings of the other Karthik and no, 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 that is fine. Thank you so much, thank you, Toastmaster Samita. And I want to commend the interesting way that you wrote the table topic uh, session. It was very interesting. And here I am, now it's time for me to, you know, sign off as a general evaluator and I'm done. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much, general evaluator. One thing that you forgot to cover, and yes, I also forgot to cover as a team mod. I couldn't announce table topic for Dina on time. I think that's the reason she is not in the meeting with us. I'll keep that regret with me and will ensure that next time we do have a table topic. Coming to the polls of the meeting, uh, we had DTM speech due to which we'll not have speaker polls and we also had one disqualification on time. And for evaluations, uh, we had one disqualification on the basis of time. So automatically, uh, Toastmaster Parna is the best evaluator for the day today. <laughs> Since it was a special meeting, we can keep uh, T mod and G polls aside and let's not have any polls for the meeting today. Coming to the theme back, uh, one last line to leave you all with. Like I said in the beginning, Mentors, as we consider, are the backbone of the Gabby's Toastmasters Club, and that's the reason we are able to achieve so many things that we never could think of ever. At least that holds true for me. Having said that, in case after today's meeting you feel that you need a change of mentor, or any mentor feels that they need a change of mentee, please reach out to me. With this, I hand it over to our presiding officer, Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, we are just a few minutes away to close this meeting. I have two things to uh, say. Before that, uh, may I request uh, our newest member, Toastmaster Sanjay, to say a few words? Thank you. Thank you, Nagesha. Uh, um, myself, Sanjay uh, Munoyat. Uh, I, I come from uh, uh, Bangalore. Um, uh, I'm a chartered accountant by profession. Uh, my wife is a chartered accountant and we have two children. I come here to learn how to speak effectively communication and uh, be a part of uh, this club uh, so that I can learn with you and contribute to myself and improve upon it uh, with uh, seeing all of you. Uh, I also thought that I should learn this skill 
but because it is very essential to learn this skill uh, so that we can grow in our lives and network with people. So thank you very much. I see forward to contribute as far as the uh, club rules. Yeah, thank you. One reminder to all of you, we'll have these hybrid meetings every month, once a, one meeting every month. So we'll have a face-to-face -face fun like this, fun meetings. Uh, announcement is, Chitrakshi is frozen. That's not the announcement. <laughs> we had an initiative that was uh, launched by our VP Education a couple of months ago. Uh, I call it a SAS Bahu initiative, no, no, SOBUS initiative. Uh, whenever I see that SOBUS in the uh, poster, it reminded me of SAS Bahu only. So SOBUS, give it up for yourself. Big round of applause. You are done 100 out of 100. So many people, so many of you contributed to... Uh, reaching that 100 out of 100, and it happens only at the Gabby. With that, I adjourn the meeting number 140. We are on time. and we'll stop the recording. Here. But we can keep the uh, very game on. Yeah. Anyone who wants to watch it? Stop recording. Yeah. No. You do? Yeah.